Hey everybody, I'm Tim and today we're gonna redefine the term great cigars. You're watching Cigars Daily. Hey, get more out of this and all our content when you join the community on Cigars Daily Plus where you'll get even more out of this and all our videos. There are a lot of cigars out there in the world these days, some of them quite frankly, are not very good. I'm not going to lie. There are cigars on the market that are just trash, and I try to avoid those as much as I can, just like I'm sure you do too. Most of them are good or very good. In fact, I would argue that these days, in order to survive in the world of cigars, your cigars really have to be very good because there's so much quality readily available out there. And then there are some cigars that to me are truly great. Great brands, great blends that you'll come back to again and again and again and revisit. And coincidentally, this is the one thing that all cigar makers are trying to figure out. How do we live in this world of greatness? Every cigar maker is a little bit different. They kind of have their own DNA of how they get the job done. And they're all trying to answer the same question. How do we get cigars into people's hands and have them come back? And I've had this conversation a lot with cigar makers of just about every size. And it's really caused me to think about this whole idea of what causes us to revisit a cigar? And I'll ask you to drop a comment right now. What is it about a cigar that makes you say, yes, I need more of these? Is there just one thing or maybe it's a few things? Put that down in the comments below and know that cigar makers are gonna be watching this video and checking those comments. So you might mention your favorite brand down there as well. But I've been thinking about this a ton lately because it is the question of the hour. Like what is it that really captures cigar smokers about a cigar? And I really do think there is just one thing. And, and I talk about this a lot on the channel. Sometimes we talk about the flavor, we talk about the construction, we talk about the consistency of the cigar, we talk about the blending experience and the leaf that goes into the thing, all kinds of different things. But truthfully, honestly, at the end of the day, I think there's just one thing and it's an experience. And I'm not talking about the kind of experience you get when you go to a TGI Fridays and they're wearing all the buttons on their sleeves. They're like, hi, it's, thank God it's Friday. We're happy to see you. I'm talking about a real depth of experience. Everybody knows that when you go to light up a cigar, you're literally lighting up your hard earned money and counting on some serious time to relax and kick your feet up and brush off the worries of the world. And for that reason, the experience that comes with a cigar is what really matters. And that experience is made not only out of flavor, even though flavor is a colossal part of that experience, it's also the consistency and the construction, everything that goes behind a cigar. And so today I wanted to take you through a handful of cigar makers where and from my experience, you are pretty damn well guaranteed to have an exceptional experience, some great cigar makers, and each one for a different reason. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know that my favorite question to ask cigar makers is, what makes you different from everybody else? Why should someone pick up and smoke one of your cigars versus cigars they've already heard of? And it's surprisingly hard for some cigar makers to come up with a real valid answer to that question. But certainly everybody I'm gonna show you in this video has got a stellar answer. They could answer this question all day and all night. And I'll say this up front, these aren't the only brands where you're guaranteed a great experience. So you can add comments down below of brands you trust for an outstanding experience, cigars that routinely smoke really well. Like if a cigar can have great flavor, but if it routinely burns really badly, it's not gonna be a great experience, right? So what we're talking about here are brands where you can count on the quality of construction, a really nice complex flavor, and for that construction and flavor to be routinely available every time you pick up and light up one of these cigars. And so with no further ado, let's jump right in. To kick off this list of excellence, I wanna talk about a time-tested brand, one that a lot of people dare I say an army of people would say is one you can count on for an amazing experience and that is Perdomo Cigars. This right here is the Perdomo 20th anniversary Maduro, which Perdomo released obviously to celebrate 20 years of cigar making expertise. Although I'll tell you, they did just last year release the Perdomo 30th anniversary. So there's a wealth of knowledge and experience behind Perdomo's brand. 
But something stood out to me this week. I, I went to Miami last week. I'm going to be releasing a bunch of content uh, on my visit there with different cigar makers. And this is something that stood out to me about Nick Perdomo. This dude is in his groove. He's on his grind every day at his shop. He has got every piece of information under his fingers. From what I could tell, the guy is a font of information about not just cigars, but what's happening within Perdomo. For a guy who knows that he draw tests every single cigar that is made, he also can tell you how many cigars they can draw test per second. And I think that number is something like 18 cigars. It's a ridiculously massive logistical operation that produces a very, very consistent cigar. In fact, Perdomo's Champagne is one of the most popular cigars of all time. They sell, I think Nick told me while I was there, something like a million cigars per size of the Champagne. And people do this because they know that every time they pick up a Perdomo Champagne, it's gonna be incredibly consistent from cigar to cigar to cigar. And that's really hard to do. There are a lot of things that make different crops from different years very different from each other. I mean, hell, different amounts of rainfall or sunshine and cloud cover conditions of the soil, they all change that flavor, but somehow Perdomo comes up with these unbelievably consistent blends. And so if you're looking for a reliably excellent experience, you can turn to Perdomo and bet your butt you're gonna get a very consistent cigar every single time. And the Perdomo army will vouch for me on that. Now, certainly Nick Perdomo is very good at what he does. He kind of seems to have his arms around the world of cigar making to the degree that people really count on his cigars. But there are other little intricacies of creating excellent in a brand that create that experience as well. And one of them is just sheer amount of time blending and knowledge of the leaf. And there's only a handful of guys you can turn to for that. And one of them is Ernesto Perez Carrillo of EPC Cigars, who has got his kids working with him, a multi-generational cigar family. But Ernesto has been blending cigars for 50 years. That is five centuries of cigar blending. And in that time, he has accomplished some incredible stuff. If you don't know, Ernesto used to blend for La Gloria Cubana. Hell, he was the guy that made La Gloria Cubana what it is today, a highly respected brand. And now with his own line that he's done for the last 15 years, he's created some spectacular blends. Blends that routinely get 90 plus ratings. Hell, I think, I forget whether it was the Encore or the Pledge that got like, a 98 rating in Cigar Aficionado. Now, I always warn people about ratings, but a 98 from Cigar Aficionado is pretty damn impressive to me. There's a thing about a guy who has basically smoked every leaf that exists and has this weird memory for it that he knows exactly what ingredients to pick. This is the equivalent of going to like a Michelin five-star restaurant and having the chef in the kitchen putting together the right ingredients. When you light up an EPC cigar, you know you're getting that level of quality and attention and detail to the blending so that they knock you out of the park every single time and apparently knock Cigar Aficionado out of the park too. But what if you haven't been blending for 50 years? Do you even stand a chance of coming up with a great brand with an amazing experience? Well, it sort of seems that way because a newer brand in the market that sort of still lives in the boutique world has garnered some of the best respect I've seen for a brand among cigar smokers, and that is Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust. By God, I could not make this video without mentioning Dunbarton. And, and this really speaks to the experience of it. First of all, Steve Saka would call me and say, what the hell, bro? Second of all, the internet would call me and say, what the hell, bro? And the reason for that is that Steve Saka, in, I, I, don't, I don't even think he's been around 10 years yet doing uh, Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust. Steve Saka has come up with some unbelievable brands incredibly depth, deep and complex blends to pair them with. Brands that'll stand the test of time and this meticulous attention to detail on the construction and consistency of his cigars. Hell, the one I'm holding right now is called Sin Compromiso, which I proudly tell you guys means without compromise. And if you meet and talk to Steve Saka, this is how he approaches his entire practice. Everything he does, he j as long as he can do it without any compromise, he's perfectly happy with it. For that reason, you'll find that Dunbarton Cigars 
are not the most affordable ones in most humidor, but what you pay for with Dunbarton, you tend to get back in a quality of experience. Not only do the cigars have consistently excellent draw and construction, but there's a depth and complexity to the flavor of his cigars that seems pretty well unmatched, especially among newer cigar makers out there. So Steve Saka and Dunbarton are doing something really special. Again, if you're looking for a quality and consistent experience, this is another brand that, well, I would say I would point you to it, but I already point a lot of people to this brand, but I do recommend. Now, of course, being really good at blending and creating cigars is important. You, you've kind of got to have that guy around if you want to create a great experience for people, but you can never get there if you don't have the most important and foundational part of the quality experience and that is the leaf. And that's why Aganorsa Leaf to me stands out as a brand where that quality, consistency, and flavor is like, it's reliable enough I'd recommend it to anyone. Hell, they even call themselves Aganorsa Leaf. They've been doing this for about 30 years now and they're one of the biggest growers in the world of dark air cured leaf today. They make a lot of it, so much so that a lot of other companies buy leaf from Aganorsa and companies are running to Aganorsa to have cigars rolled for them. So when you see a cigar that actually says Aganorsa leaf on the band, that is their top shelf stuff. It's not the leaf that they're selling off to other people. It's not the cigars that they're rolling for other people, although those are very good too. Aganorsa leaf makes their own line of cigars that comes with this incredible flavor. They use a Criollo 98 and Corojo 99 leaves to create these flavor profiles that satiate the palate and give you this wild ride. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of spice, and a whole lot else going on in all their blends in their not so inconsiderable catalog. They make a lot of different stuff out there, but more and more people are flocking to Aganorsa these days and becoming what they call Aganorsa Acolytes. There's a Facebook group that I believe you can join that's called exactly that. But people love what they're getting from Aganorsa Leaf and even joining the community to share that love with each other. It's one thing that makes this brand stand out in a very special way. And then there are also brands out there that are just good because people just love them and they come back to them again and again frequently, even if the brand owner is kind of a dumbass that doesn't really know what he's doing. And that's why the next brand is American Viking Cigars. You guys, American Viking has been such a cool and fun project for me to do and it's caused me to not envy any of the other cigar makers in this video at all. Their lives are a nightmare. The logistics are horrible. Everything about what they do is sincerely awful. And I don't recommend starting a cigar brand for this exact reason. But I love having blends of my own. And while I'm ragging on the whole process here, I gotta tell you, it is a lot of hard work and even harder to be really good at this stuff. The experience I've had with American Viking has been a lot of fun because I've gotten to learn a lot. But even what I know today is nothing compared to what I've learned from the, the names of people and the brands that I'm mentioning in this video and even a whole lot more. But somehow still American Viking cigars tends to be a favorite among people in the Cigars Daily Nation. And I give a lot of credit for that to the factory that we work with, our master blender, and the quality and caliber of people in and around American Viking. It is so important to have good people involved in good projects like this, and we've got them. And that's why we've got blends like the Filthy Viking right here, a Honduran blend with a Habano wrapper on it that gives off this unbelievable buttery note, and American Vikings brands out there like the Liga Zebra and the Box Press Rebellion. They're not as cohesive as maybe they are with Dunbarton or Aganorsa or Perdomo, but the thing is, people love them, and I love that. You know, if you're going to create a cigar brand, the goal should be an excellent experience for people. And nothing makes me more excited than when I see people sharing their experience with an American Viking cigar and saying they love the blends or that they bought a box as their very first box. As a cigar maker, I do not consider myself to know very much. I think I'm making that apparent as I can be, but certainly I feel tremendously privileged for the experience that each person gets when they sit down to light one of these up. Having a great brand, it feels like a dog that caught the car and now he doesn't know what to do with it. I'm just excited to be a part of the game and grateful for everybody who loves American Viking. Now, of course, if you're gonna talk about experience when it comes to cigars, there's one brand that you can't not mention. Well, 
depending on who you ask, there's more than one brand. But again, this isn't everyone. This is just some of the best ones I know. And certainly I would never make this video without mentioning Padron Cigars. This is the Padron Damaso. They came out with this a few years ago. It must have been maybe six or seven-ish years ago. And it's like, Padron didn't really have a Connecticut blend before this one. And somehow, even with a, without a good, like more mild Connecticut blend, Padron has been a powerhouse of cigars forever. Since before pretty much all of us were smoking cigars, they've been making cigars in Nicaragua and creating some of the most consistent and flavorful blends out of Nicaragua back before Nicaragua was the cool place to have your cigars made. These days, cigar shops are fighting to get Padron into their shops, let alone all of the people who love and respect Padron, not just for the like 2000, 3000, 4000 series and so on, but really also for the 1926, the 1964s, have become really the industry standard for special occasion celebratory cigars. It, it's one of the very few brands that has followers that hold Padron in the same regard that Cuban cigar smokers hold Cuban cigars. Some of these Cuban guys are like, oh, Cuban cigars are the only cigars that matter. Well, similarly, there are people who feel that way about Padron. To them, there's just no other cigar that can live up to the experience that you can get from one of these. Now, like I said at the outset, these aren't all of the brands that reliably produce a great experience. There are a lot more. I just didn't have two hours to make this video, but these are some of the guys who I know that their character, their quality, their integrity, and the experience you'll get every time you light up one of their cigars is gonna be something special. And so I wanna give these to you guys by way of a recommendation, especially if you're just getting into cigars and ask you to drop your comment. What are the brands that you go back to? Who do you trust for a great experience in the world of cigars? I would love to hear more from you guys down there because truly there are as many different palettes out there almost as there are people. And so everybody's got something unique and special to share. So please do drop a comment. And again, check this video out on the community on Cigars Daily Plus. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily and I will see you in the comments.